Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ola. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we are going to do an, an organizing, or how I organize my makeup case with a little of independence run into it. We are going to start off at our makeup corner of my office. Now, this is an architect desk. I'll link it down below, but it is nice because I can um, easily pull up without getting one of those attached to anything because that is very important and I can easily move my joystick in and out of place as well. Bing, bing, bing. And usually this is how if I want to go even closer I'll get all of my um dress it all the way back and I'll just use my arm like I am now. Once you do that you kinda of get used to using your arm for when you do them. Now Oh, also, this is a mat on, on here because um, the desk is glass and I did not want, um, glass is very loud, which equals making me jump more or make me start off. It's a whole thing with TP and, um, and it also helps the makeup not Makeup not get like the particles from my makeup on the. We can easily just take take this off and throw it in the wash. Okay, so this is a light up mirror, which uh, sometimes I use lights, sometimes I don't. Re recently, I have been getting. I've had this for like three years at this point, but my makeup, it was in the bathroom, so I couldn't use the lights because it was very close to um, the sink, and I haven't started, I wasn't really um, trying to be more independent until recently, so, um, yeah, so, and um, I think, where did my mom get this? I think LTD commodities, don't quote me on it, I will try to find it, but, um, or Marshall, I can't remember, but this is the on off button, and then there's a the brightness. Okay, so oh, oh scooting up. Okay. Typically, we have my makeup um put out or like warning out for me to practice. Um, I ain't gonna get better at practicing. Yes, I know. It's a struggle these days. I don't have, I'm not a patient person for others and from especially myself. So, anyway. So, uh, usually we have the makeup warning put out, which I'll insert a clip of what it looks like when it's put out. But also we have a washcloth that I wipe my brushes on to help keep them clean as much as I can. Um, but for obvious, for videoing I did not want the makeup to be out because I think it looks cleaner. Yes, I am that 
particular about um how I want things to look. We do usually keep my makeup my makeup train case going over here is um from Amazon. The girl has too much this girl has too much makeup so I couldn't get the one I wanted which if you guys have seen my um what I got for Christmas video you know which one I'm talking about which um if you haven't watched that I'll link it in the cards below or up above and below. But yeah the and then also um, if I have it on the desk, the, I can't get, I can't get to it independently. You're like, um, it sits higher than my wheelchair. So I couldn't, um, I, I can't get to my products. So my mom thought of a good idea. And she, we have a bunch of cubes from Target. And I'm trying to find a similar cube to look right now. It's on a cube. Um. That I can easily get to all my products. With, um, pretty easy reach. So right now, we have... My makeup or my eyeshadow palette are in the center because I can't, I'll have to get them. I'll have to have somebody get them for me to open them up. So that I will need help getting so I don't need to be able to reach them. So these um, things can be moved in and out. Oh, am I gonna spill it now? Whatever. Why is this not going in? <laughs> am I doing it wrong? No, it's just like you gotta push on. both sides. Okay. Push it more in the middle, Lana. Ow. Okay, that was a struggle. <laughs> See how often I do this. Not very often. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. And usually it comes down. So we just or we can there. Oh. Okay. So oh. My arm is sore. Okay. This is what it looks like. Um, clothes. I do not strap it. I don't use the clips. Um, or the the strap. And um, but I can see where like if makeup, if makeup artist, like. Mango parts for like clients using. Yeah, I would definitely use when I want to. I can easily shut it. That was not easy. I haven't shut it in a while. And usually, my or somebody's here to help me shut it anyway. So that was a struggle bus moment, but moving right along. So, Maddie girl just, or Maddie just, Maddie girl, that's what I usually call her, <laughs> which I don't know where that started, <laughs> and why that started, but, um, Maddie just un unattached the things, which is, 
That's for easier for me than the having the straps. Like so. Because then it doesn't block anything off. Um, that thing on the top is from a brush. It's for my brushes. Oh, just a side note, you guys. Um, this video is not sponsored by anybody or any entity. So, but I will have. I'm, I'm, oh my god! I will have anything linked below, but. It's not affiliate links as well, but I just wanted you to know that. And that thing is the clear case over here, or the clear thing is, unattach is unattachable. Mary, can you get it? It's Velcro. Yep, okay, so just like how Maddie did that right there, it's unintentional, which I think would be nice because that way I can just put this up on the, um, up on the, um, on my desk and have them there, but still be able to reach them, but... Some of my dual, uh, some of my makeup brushes are dual ended, so dual ended means two, like this one. So I'm not sure if, um, how easy that would be to put it in there. Um, what else? Yeah, and I got my this makeup brush is. Uh, a cosmicery brush. So I will let you guys know. That will probably be my next video. If I can fit these into this. And part of my next video. As I am velcro to this now. With that being said, that concludes today's video. Um. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep on rolling. Bye!